Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today, we are going to be painting the welding trailer. As you can see, we have no welder in here anymore, nor the acetylene bottles. We have them all sitting out here on the tables. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is grabbing the sander, sand this whole thing down, and then I'm going to wash it off, put a little bit of primer on some spots, mainly like the top of the wheel fenders up here, and uh, some of the places that we use a lot, kind of back here and on the, the uh, spools. So after we put the primer on, we're going to get the paint, paint this thing, and uh, get it done real quick. So let's get right to work. I have now gave the trailer time to dry. As you can see, it is dry to the touch. So the next thing to do is go back. I'm gonna grab my primer and prime all the edges and stuff like that that is um, bare metal. So mainly like areas like that. I'll probably do some of the rusty areas. Now that the primer has been laid and it is dry, it is time to start spraying. I'm just gonna walk around, show you kind of what the primer looks like. I'm gonna also be repainting the uh, pipe vise and the regular vise later on. So I got some paint on it, it's not a big deal. But we are now going to shake these up and put down a little mist coat. So I'm just gonna go over, spray everything just so it gets a good contact, then come back and spray a little bit harder in the next coat. Hopefully I'm gonna just do two coats and that should be enough. So let's get right to work. I just got done spraying the first coat of paint, but this stuff went on really, really thin. So I'm probably gonna spray another mist coat, not super misty, a little bit more thick this time, but where it gets more coverage. But as you can see, it is a, you can see all the metallic in it. It's really, really shiny now. So let's get to painting this thing for the second time. The trailer is completely painted now. I had to bring it inside with Logo because it started to rain. But as you can see, all the spools are done. The oxygen and acetylene tanks up there are done. Um, under the wool fenders, I'm going to be painting black, so those haven't been done yet. I'm also going to be painting the toolbox black. All the inside panels, they're going to be black, and the bottom of the welder, I'm going to also paint black. So that is going to be the next step. I have finished painting the welding trailer and I've put all the stuff back in it. Painted the box up here black as you can see. The insides are black. The uh, pipe holder back here, also black. I painted everything that, uh, that we're gonna use a lot black because we have a lot of black paint so we can repaint it if it gets scratched up real bad. The next thing to work on is the vise here and the pipe vise up there. So let's get right to work.
I have finished painting the vices. There's a the pipe vise. Here is the regular vise. I left the teeth unpainted because they're gonna get messed up anyway. Same with the teeth on the pipe vise. I have also finished painting the welder, painting the bottom. I didn't paint any more up top because my dad used it the other day and he said some paint must have got on the governor and uh, made it stick so it wasn't running very well, but we got it cleaned off now. And I also painted this side. So the welding trailer is all done, all painted up. The last thing I had to do is add the uh, lights on it, but I'll be doing that in one of the uh, truck videos. So as you can see, we have the welding trailer done now. So thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.